Check out the cool map of New Orleans, USA. See those bold gray lines around the city? Those are levees keeping the city safe from the red flood coming in from Lake Morapas, Lake Salvador, and Little Lake. Without those levees, New Orleans would be in big trouble with rising sea levels. Even with the levees, the damage looks pretty bad. The Bilancy and Jean Lafitte Wildlife Preserve look like they're almost underwater on the map. New Orleans is not the only city in the U.S. that's at risk of going underwater. The city of Savannah is located right in the middle of Hurricane Central. But even without Mother Nature's fury, the place is facing some serious sea level rise. The Savannah River to the north and the Ogeechee River to the south might both overflow into the surrounding marshland. And that's not even the worst part. By 2050, there may be massive floods every year that will make history books look boring. Sorry to break it to you, but Miami is on the line too. The Sunshine State is shelling out around $4 billion to stop things from getting worse. The Big Apple is also getting hit with more and more crazy floods. In November 2021, they even had their first ever flash flood emergency. But still, the city is not ready for it at all. Even the Statue of Liberty, one of the most famous spots in NYC, got messed up in Hurricane Sandy. Now with sea levels rising, Lady Liberty is in danger once again. Tabasco, Mexico is no stranger to flooding, thanks to its coastal location on the Gulf of Mexico. This low, flat state is covered in wetlands and forests and already deals with seasonal floods. But with sea levels rising, it could eventually be completely taken over by water. This would put at risk some seriously important things, like the Mayan ruins of Malpasito and Comacalco and Tabasco sauce. Ah, sorry, the sauce comes from Louisiana. Jokes aside, it's not just Tabasco. Parts of the Yucatan Peninsula and Baja California are also at risk from rising sea levels. Panama City is also in trouble. Apparently, the super trendy Casco Viejo and the swanky Costa del Este hood might get submerged in 2050, when Pedro Arias de Avila first founded it. Fun fact, it was the first European settlement on the Pacific coast. The 17th and 18th century forts on the Caribbean side are also in danger. According to Climate Central, they might get washed away by rising sea levels. Even UNESCO has had them on its risk list since 2012. Some more sad news. The Bahamas is going to be hit hard by rising sea levels. I mean, Hurricane Dorian was already a huge bummer in 2019. And now they're saying most of Grand Bahama, Nassau, Abaco and Spanish Wells could go underwater by 2050 due to various reasons. Amsterdam. The Netherlands is one of the low countries for a reason. The city and its buddies Rotterdam and Den Haag sit low and close to the North Sea. You gotta hand it to the Dutch though. They know how to handle the water and keep it at bay with high-tech flood defenses. With sea levels constantly on the rise, it looks like their impressive system of dikes, dams, barriers, levees and floodgates is gonna get even more crucial in the future. Still, despite all the effort, some experts are afraid that the Venice of the North might go underwater by 2030. Well, this one is not something you would expect, but still. Venice is sinking by 2 millimeters every year, and the sea levels are rising. This means that the city is getting flooded more often, and it's only going to get worse because of climate change. Just like New Orleans, Venice has a flood defense system. But as the crisis gets worse, it's going to be harder and more expensive to keep it going. Even worse, beautiful St. Mark's Basilica has already been hit hard by flooding. They tried to introduce a flood barrier system, but even that didn't work out perfectly. In 2020, the flood barrier was not used and St. Mark's Square got majorly damaged. Looks like even when we try to prevent the effects of climate change, things don't always go according to plan. In London, rising sea levels are causing more flooding along the Thames estuary, and it's not looking good. Areas along the River Thames are especially at risk, putting iconic buildings like the Tower of London and the House of Parliament 
as well as cultural hotspots like the Tate Modern and Shakespeare's Globe in Jeopardy. And the British Museum? It has so much precious stuff, even Gollum would be jealous. We just can't let it go underwater. During your next Euro trip, make sure to add Bruges in Belgium to your list. Chances are you won't see it if you skip it this time. The thing is, it's also in danger of getting flooded. Bruges is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so we really hope they can protect it from any potential floods. Plus, it has a lot of nice local specialties we don't want to lose. You may not know it, but Andalusia in Spain is home to Western Europe's oldest city, Cadiz. It's been around for over 3,000 years thanks to the Phoenicians. But unfortunately, climate change is putting it at risk. Rising sea levels might flood the city's cobbled stone center, beautiful tree-lined plazas, and historic sea fortifications. And it's not just Cadiz. Parts of Andalusia are in danger of flooding too. Well, seems like one more destination must be added to your bucket list. Ho Chi Minh City and especially its eastern marshy districts are at risk, just like all the other places mentioned before. And it looks like the whole city is going to have a tough time with the Mekong Delta. While the main part of the city probably won't be completely submerged by 2030, flooding and storms are definitely going to become a big problem. So it turns out that Bangkok might be in some hot water due to global warming. Literally, a 2020 study says that Bangkok could be one of the cities most dramatically affected by rising sea levels. It's sitting pretty low at just 5 feet above sea level. And to make things even more interesting, it's sinking at a speedy rate of an inch per year. And the cherry on top? The soil it's built on is super dense clay, which means it's basically a flood magnet. By 2030, parts of Bangkok, including the main airport, might have to get used to living underwater. The next city at risk is Kolkata, India. The fertile land in West Bengal has been a major key to their success for ages, but now it's causing some big worries in Kolkata and the surrounding areas. Just like Ho Chi Minh City, they could have some serious problems with all that rain during monsoon season. And the map of what could happen in 2100 is pretty scary stuff. The next destination is Shanghai, China. It's literally translated as the city on the sea. But it might actually end up under the sea. Climate control data is flashing red warning lights for this mega city, making it one of China's most at-risk cities. The Yangtze Delta, where Shanghai sits, and the Pearl River Delta, home to the Guangzhou, are both in hot water too, with lots of people living on low-lying land that might get flooded. The Maldives, a luxurious group of islands, already get flooded every year. Experts think they might lose 80 or even more percent of their islands in the next 30 years. The Maldivian authorities aren't taking any chances though. They're already making plans to buy land in other countries, just in case they need to relocate the whole population. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.